Your forecast first, sponsored by Natax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Look at that beautiful sunset. Roofing dog on it. Adams Memorial's camera over Champagne. There's clear skies. Now the orange tint to the sky as the sun sets on this Monday evening. Let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, what's happening out there with the satellite and radar picture. And again, clouds to the south. We've got clear skies almost across the entire state and temperatures that are going to quickly fall off. It's already down to 33 in Champaign, 37 Springfield, and 39 in Effingham. Through tonight, it's going to get a little chilly. We're forecasting readings down into the 20s here by, well, 9 o'clock. Even colder by tomorrow morning. But you're going to love the seven-day. We'll show you uh, when the warmest day is going to be. Coming up, WCA3 News starts right now. Now on WCIA3 News. A night of vandalism that'll cost thousands of dollars with dozens of neighbors woke up to slash tires. Plus, fire engulfs a house with the family inside. But that family is saying after a two-month-old and her father didn't make it out. And an accident caused a service dog to get loose. How an emotional owner is trying to get her back. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. So what's the matter? And <laughs> he said, well, there's been something happening in the neighborhood. Dozens in Urbana woke up to the sound of a door knock this morning. They were greeted by police. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Authorities are investigating after someone punctured tires and get this, at least 100 cars. It happened on the southwest side of Urbana, WCI 3's Karina Rubio. Talk with some people who don't have a way to get around at the very moment. Washington, McCullough, Kohler, Birch, and more. Several neighborhood streets vandalized. I don't know, somebody was on a rampage. People in this area woke up to their cars looking a lot like this with the tires slashed. Officers say it happened sometime overnight. The damage looks similar on all the tires. Small puncture holes on the sidewalls, putting a pause on many people's plans for the day. I had a doctor's appointment scheduled this morning. Roommate Sam, that's his car over the gray one. Or our other roommate, Claire, hers is the orange Chevy Equinox. And then her boyfriend, who's parked in the driveway, his car has it too. Well, nothing on this scale. There's certainly been minor vandalism over the years. I've lived on this block for over 40 years. No, it's just unbelievable. That's all I could say. Tow trucks came to clear some cars off streets and out of driveways. Police went door to door notifying people and taking down information to try and connect the dots. You're in the thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. Um, tires aren't cheap, as, as you all know. So um, it's just uh, unfortunate that something like this has to happen and ruin several people's days. Paying for new tires is going to be a drag. The, uh, I have insurance, but my deductible is $500. So that's about the price of four tires anyway. Oh my <laughs> in Urbana, Karina Rubio, WCI 3, your local news leader. Now, Urbana police say they are still looking for the person who did this. This is a video. Take a close look, a little hard to see who they believe did this all. It's a man wearing a dark colored coat with a lighter hooded sweatshirt underneath. If you recognize the guy or have any surveillance video out there, police want to hear from you. We have a link on our website at WCIA.com. Now, meanwhile, car repair shops, they've had their phones ringing all day. Urbana True Tire says they haven't stopped answering calls. They think it was a drill used to slash the tires or poke them. They were hoping to have them all fixed by tonight, but they say they actually might run out of tires before then. Car repair shops were already busy after all the cold weather we had. The weather we had last week and everybody having that problems and then they throw this on top of it. It's just, it's, it's horrible that it's happened. Now that place says depending on the vehicle and how many tires were slashed, cost for repairs could be anywhere from 700 to 1200 dollars. A father and his baby are dead after a house fire in Edgar County. 35-year-old Michael Phipps and two-month-old Nettie Phipps were trapped inside. It happened in the village of Vermilion at the corner of Water and North 2025th Street early this morning. WCI 3's Bryce Beeman joins us live from the newsroom. Bryce, some of family members were able to escape his girlfriend and two other children, but at least one is still fighting for their lives. The fire broke out early this morning. Several departments helped fight it. We don't know what started the fire, but state police and fire marshals are still at the house investigating. That cause the aunt of the six-year-old girl who got out of the house says she is having several surgeries. She told me her niece had to have her head shaved because of burns on her scalp. 
I was worried about if she was gonna make it or not. I was scared, very scared. <laughs> Their survivors were sent to hospitals in Indianapolis. We don't know how badly the other two were hurt at this time. In the newsroom, I'm Bryce Beamant, WCIA3, your local news leader. Bryce, of course, if you get any updates, let us know. I will. Now, we do have an update about a fire from over the weekend. Champaign County Sheriff's Office says it's investigating the fire is suspicious. Happened near North Cunningham Avenue and East Olympian Road. Three outbuildings were destroyed. A fourth was damaged. The homeowner said they were storing farm equipment inside. No one was hurt. People in Coles County are mourning the loss of a former fire chief. Orrin Lockhart served as Mattoon's chief from 1973 to 2002. Another retired firefighter says he was a great leader and mentor. He helped create the Coles County dive team. They told us Lockhart poured his heart and soul into the team and he trained his divers and firefighters monthly. When he became chief of the fire department, um, that was uh, when the fire department started being uh, proactive in a, in a lot of uh, hard training as we are, or as the fire department still is today, but it all started when uh, he became chief. We're told Lockhart loved the city of Mattoon and he will be sorely missed. Several ranked basketball teams lost games this weekend. We'll tell you what that means for the Illini. And also tonight. You know, lucky to be alive. Um, not worried about me at all. I just want my dog back. There's a service dog on the run where she's been spotted, but not yet caught. And sunshine today, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. To, I don't want to ruin no, keep, no, it. No, I mean, I mean, I'll let you have all the glory. Now listen, if I had to take all of the uh, punishment for the bad. In February. February. Yes. I want the good here coming in March. Outside, a beautiful sunset. A recap today, we were actually pretty close to normal, but we're going to do way better than that number through the rest of the week. Tons of sun. We'll show you when the warmest day is, and we've got a small chance of rain when we come back.